Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Amanda Ensing, and today I am gonna show you how I soft glam. A soft glam has been trending a lot lately, which is weird because it's nothing new. It's not a new technique. It's always been around. To me, soft glam is a look where you feel the most beautiful, but still like your natural self. It's nothing too crazy. Of course, this, obviously you can tell I have makeup on. It doesn't look like I'm not wearing makeup, but it's just an enhanced version of yourself, a done up version of yourself. That is what soft glam means to me. It's effortless, it's beautiful, it's timeless. It can go with any lip color, any occasion. I would also consider this a great bridal makeup look. I can never get tired of this look. I would feel more than confident, more than beautiful to wear this walking down the aisle. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll have all the products I use in the description bar down below. And if you're new to my channel, hi, make sure to hit subscribe down below. And let's go ahead and get into the makeup. The first thing I'm gonna do is prime my skin with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is what it looks like. It's a great dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer if you've been wanting to try that, but it's not in your price budget or you don't want to spend the money. This is a great alternative. So I'm taking it on my fingers and I'm just going to press this into my skin. It's going to make your pores look so much smaller. It really fills in the pores and blurs them out underneath of your makeup. I really focus this in the center of my face. So I'm gonna be going with the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation. If you guys have watched my tutorials from last year, they're very dewy. I don't do a more matte look very often, but when I think of a soft glam, I think of a blurred, very soft canvas. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Feel free to use whatever foundation works for you. I'm gonna use the Fenty foundation brush. You can use a beauty sponge if you want. I'm just using a brush today because it's my preference. I just go back and press around my nose and around my smile lines just to make sure I blend everything out so it doesn't crease or settle in those areas. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to contour. I'm gonna use a darker concealer, but instead of just putting it on my skin, I'm actually gonna put it on a little palette and then apply it on the skin so it's a little bit softer. It's not quite as intense as it would be if you just put it on the face. I'm gonna take my brush. I'm gonna really work it into the brush. Not all of it, I just use about, you know, half of it. And we're gonna go in. So I'm gonna take it right in the cheekbone and you see how much more diffused the product is? I'm pressing it into the cheekbones, going upwards. I go right along the hairline and I'm just gonna press it back into the hairline. I'm also gonna take it right on the jaw. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just go along the edges of the jaw contour. Whatever's left, I'm just gonna go on the sides of the nose very lightly because I'm gonna focus today on reverse contouring the nose with concealer. Thumbs up if you're drinking your Waterloo. Got me some strawberry today. So many of you guys sent me stories on Instagram after my week in my life video and I couldn't even believe it, but I'm glad you guys are obsessed with it too. So now we're gonna conceal. I'm gonna use the Benefit Boing Concealer and I'm gonna start concealing and highlighting. So I'm gonna go in the corner of the eye Bring it on the side of the nose, right underneath the eye in a triangle. I'm gonna go right underneath where my contour is just to define it a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna take a beauty blender and start blending this concealer. I'm gonna take banana bread and sugar cookie from Huda Beauty. I'm gonna use mainly banana bread, which is more yellow. I'm gonna put a hint of sugar cookie. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna press this everywhere that I applied concealer. This will just make sure that it's locked and loaded. I really press it in around the sides of my mouth because my foundation can settle in my smile lines. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dust off all of the powder. I don't let my concealer bake for too long. All right, so now we're gonna bronze up the skin. I'm gonna take the Fenty Island Ting Bronzer and this Hourglass Brush. I'm just gonna bring in the color a little bit higher, diffuse it out. 
I like to bring my bronzer a little bit higher on the cheeks because then it kind of adds a little bit of a sun-kissed glow up here. And then I'm just gonna tap on my forehead because that looks pretty bronze. I'm gonna start diffusing this line right here and bringing the color down. Sometimes nose contour can look really good from the front and then from the side it looks a mess. And if you're gonna be out in real life, you want it to look as natural as possible. I'm gonna bring this color upwards to the inner part of the eye. I like to do this part last. I'm gonna take the concealer and put a little dot right there and press it in. If I do it beforehand, I feel like it kind of gets lost in the mix. Since I have this little bone right here on both sides of my nose, if I just go in with a contour on the sides of my nose, I feel like it always looks crooked. So when I focus on reverse contouring, I really didn't have to add much bronzer or contour to my nose. I can just focus on using concealer. I'm gonna do my brows really quick off camera and then I will be back and we will start on the eyes. I'm gonna use the Bare Necessities from ColourPop palette today. I just think it has a lot of really great neutrals and for soft glam, I use a multitude of browns and taupes and a little bit of, you know, these like mauve shades here. So I think this palette is great for that. I'm gonna mix Hot Gossip and All For You. It's these two shades. So we have a mauve color and a taupey color. So I'm gonna take this from outer all the way to inner crease. On the outer edges, I'm just gonna go in little circles outwards so we drag that color out. I'm going back to the mauve color, all for you. I'm gonna take this a little bit lower in the crease and focus it on the inner part of the crease versus the higher inner and outer. I'm just gonna focus it right here in the center. You can follow the socket of your eye. You can kind of feel it with your brush. Makeup hack. If you take a little bit of translucent powder on your brush, it'll blend out any stubborn colors that aren't blending. So I'm just going between those two colors with the powder and it'll blend it out. You can make this as intense or subtle as you want. I'm gonna stop here. It's there, but it's not too much. I want it to be soft. So now we're going to go into the flat brush. I'm gonna take full expose, which is this bone color right here, and I'm gonna carve out the lid. I'm gonna take a little angled brush and I'm gonna go in to crack on. I'm gonna start mapping out my eyeliner. So I'm gonna go from the outer part of the eye and bring it up and then back down into a mini wing, just like that. I like using brown eyeshadow because it looks more natural and if you mess up, it's really easy to fix. Taking some of tabloid, that taupey brown, I'm gonna take a pencil brush and start buffing this out. Same angled brush, I'm gonna take Taboo, which is a darker brown. I'm just gonna take it right along the lash line and then right into the wing for more definition. I took a new liner to my waterline and now we're gonna smoke out the lower lash line. And I'm taking this Morphe M507 brush and I'm gonna start on the outer part of the lower lash line. And I'm gonna go on the lower lash line just to define it. All right, so now I'm gonna add my blush. I'm gonna take this Cover FX blush in Mojave Mauve. This to me is not mauve at all. It's a very cozy, warm, fuzzy baby doll pink. Like that's the color I would describe this. I'm gonna go on the cheeks. You can see it's intense, right? So I'm gonna place it here like that. And then I'm taking another brush. This is a Morphe brush. And I'm gonna diffuse it outwards. Going up towards 
the contour on the higher part of the cheekbone. Something else I do, I take a little bit on the nose, not as heavy as I usually do, just a light dusting. You can also put a little bit on the forehead. It just brings color to your face. For my highlight today, I don't want it to be too intense. You can definitely do that in a soft glam look. I personally like to have it a little bit softer like everything in this look. So I'm gonna use this Dior highlight. This is in the shade number one. I like this highlight because it's really beautiful, but it's not too extreme. You can build it up that way, but it's very soft and it's very diffused. So I'm gonna take this little brush right here. This is a Morphe brush and I'm just going to dip into the product ever so slightly. I'm gonna go on the apples of the cheeks and upwards, just like that. You can see how like natural it is. I don't want it to be too intense, which isn't like me normally, but I have really been enjoying a more subtle glow lately. You can hit right above the brow. I mean, like, that's it. Like, I'm not gonna add any more glow. I'm gonna take the Morphe setting spray just to set my face. For my lip color, I'm gonna take MAC Sore Lip Pencil first to line my lips. Lastly, I'm gonna take ColourPop Midnight Snack for my lip color. All right, so I'm gonna fix my hair and then I'll be back with the final look. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this soft glam makeup tutorial. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and to hit subscribe down below. Turn those post notifications on if you have not already. Leave me any requests down below for any other kind of makeup looks or makeup reviews you guys want. I love you so much. Check the down bar for all the products used and I will see you guys in my next video.